Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be answering a question from the comments coming from Mika Samba says, can anyone tell me how to delete slash remove the emergency locked videos? So we're going to answer that today. All right, so Mika is referring to this uh, Rove R24K-camera and anytime you hit a bump, you get in an accident or if there's something jarred in your car or <laughs> like I just shook it or if you push this triangle button right here, that'll also activate the uh, motion activation recording to set it into a separate folder or to save it into under locked videos for your uh, dash camera. So I'm gonna show you four ways to do that. All right, so the first way I'm gonna show you is uh, I'm actually have you plug in the power cord from your camera to your computer here. And it'll pop up on the screen and say, hey, Uh, what do we want to, how do you want to use this? And uh, we're going to go ahead and say connect as USB flash drive and hit OK. And then my computer will now pop up on the screen here as you can see. And it now says Novatech. We can open that folder, movie. And then any of your locked videos will be under this RO folder. So if you go in here, you can see all of my little uh, incident videos anywhere that I may have hit it. Um, a lot of times my wiper blade will set it off, unfortunately. So if you want to delete these, you can just select it and hit delete from your computer. Yes, it's now gone. We're going to go ahead and X out of that and move on to the next way. The next way to delete, remove, or access emergency locked footage is to click this micro USB card here and it'll pop out and you now can plug this into your adapter or whatever you have. So if you have a micro SD card reader, that'll work great for these. However, if you don't have that, a lot of things have a full size SD card reader. And a lot of SD cards these days, honestly, it's cheaper just to buy the micro and it comes with the full size SD card adapter and then you can plug it in. Um, my computer has the micro SD. I have an adapter on my computer that has micro SD and full size SD card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this guy directly in. And then this process is gonna be the exact same as before. You can see it shows is our Novatech. We can then open that up, go to movie. We have our RO folder, and then this is all of our regular videos. So in our RO folder, this is all of our locked videos. You can just go ahead, just like before, you select it, you can hit delete, and it will delete it right off of your drive, just like that, yes, you're sure, or no. All right, so from the screen here, we'll press and hold our menu button. It'll take you into the photo mode and then you press and hold it again and now we can see we have videos in here this is not a touch screen but you can see one is locked so if we go up arrow till we get to it we're gonna say okay and then we can play through the video or we can hit the menu button and then if we hit down arrow we can say delete hit okay and then you can say delete current and then we'll hit our OK button again. Hit o erase this, hit OK. Protected! So what you do, is you come down under protected, you hit OK, and then you can say unlock current, and you hit OK again. And now we can go back up and hit delete, delete current, hit OK. Scroll down again, hit OK and file has been deleted. And that's it, that's how you'll delete it from the camera itself. It's a little more tedious from the screen, but it can be done. And then to get back to the video mode, you press and hold the menu button, and now you're back in video mode. And the last way to delete files off of your dash camera is to turn on your vehicle or whatever, and then what we'll do is we'll go to menu, then we'll push menu again, and we'll scroll down almost to the bottom here. You'll see storage space, it's coming up. Format reminder, format. 
So you can then format the whole flash drive and it will delete all video off of the camera. And that is the four ways that I know of on how to delete videos from your dash cam that are locked, protected, or um, secured, or the emergency ones. It might be possible to do it from the app itself. I tried to figure it out. There's a new Rove dash cam app, but it, it won't even let me log in. And the old app doesn't seem to have a way to access those protected files. So the only other way you could do that is going into the uh, going into it manually from here and marking those files as unprotected, and then you can delete them. But if you're in here and you're unprotecting them, you can just delete them from there. If you have questions, need anything else, please don't hesitate to leave your question in the comments below. And if you want to get this dash camera for yourself, I'll have links to it down in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, so using those links do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. Or using any of the other links and then doing your Amazon shopping from there also do help to support this channel. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Go ahead and check me out on all my other social media. I'll have link down below in the link tree. And uh, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.